hi guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber hi darling um so i don't know if this is going to be a whole entire new vlog or we're continuing the previous weekend vlog but if it's a new vlog hey sunshines hey lovers and friends today is a saturday the time is around quarter past nine right now i woke up at like to eight i don't know why on a saturday <laughs> this work thing is not good but anyway um i woke up at to eight and then i chilled i prayed um and then i cleaned my room and now i just made myself a cup of chai za chai tea and then i need to quickly take a shower and figure out what i'm wearing because it's galentine's today so i'm meeting up with my girls we're gonna have a cute lunch and then yeah that's the that's that um but before that i have a couple of errands to run i need to go to the bank for my sister and then i also need to meet my padre i need to meet my dad um and then head over to my girls i'll do my makeup at boto's house because i was going to do it in the morning right now but i'm like guys i'm going to be running so many errands it's just not gonna be fresh the way i want it to look also i haven't planned out what i want to wear so it's just my tassa. but yeah i think i'm gonna drink my chai <laughs> I just don't call it get that. I'm gonna drink my chai za and then watch something while I'm drinking it and then go shower and then we're gonna figure out what I'm wearing together because it's a bit stressful, yeah? Because like it's been raining all week. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, because like I've always said, I literally feel and see God's love through his nature. Also, there's a horse out there. Guys, where I'm living is a jungle. I'll go show you just now. I always see God's love through nature. So when it's raining, I always say this is our blessings showering down on, on us. But like, God, I would like the sun a little bit because we're trying to be bad today. But I'll figure something out. Guys, there's a stampede out there and it's distracting. Let me go show you. Guys, there's so many of them. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh, but it's so pretty. This is literally... Our house is like right here, like right behind here. How pretty. I need to close the gate though before they enter. I have to find his homies. Okay, I ran back into the house because I was getting a bit over. <laughs> I'm going to insert a clip of, there was a time I was driving back home from Nancy's house, I think. And there was a stampede. I'll show you guys on the side here. But anyway, the reason why I'm drinking chaiza and not eating is because I'm doing an intermittent fast. So basically, I can eat, basically, basically, I can eat from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. So anytime before that or anytime after 8, I cannot eat. So it's kind of perfect because we're having lunch with the gals. So I'm trying to snatch this bar, guys. Can you see the silhouette? Wow. <laughs> I've heard that intermittent fasting is really good if you want to gauge like what you're eating and limit how much you eat in a day. So that's what I'm doing. Friends, Let's just research a little bit. is the lighting enough? It is. <laughs> I just got out the shower like 15 minutes ago and it's still so gloomy outside so i'm trying to figure out what i should wear so this is the first look so actually hey i'm posting a try on haul tomorrow um which is sunday and there's quite a bit of clothes that i missed which you guys will just see in the vlog i'm sars i'm so sorry i was just trying to get it done quickly but anyway um let me actually zip this up that's not cute yeah this is one of the tops that my sister gave me. Shout out to BD, so cute. And then my other sister, Mpo, sorry for the mess at the back, got me these cute tracks. So I was thinking of going with something like this and then wear my Air Force Ones because it's still so gloomy outside. Like, it's cloudy. It's cloudy, right? So it's either this or... I don't want to change too much because I'm going to sweat. I don't know why I'd be sweating so much these days. Like, can you see this? But it's also because I use this Vaseline. She's like extra moisture. Shout out Vaseline. If anybody from Vaseline wants to work with me, please hear my DM. <laughs> you know? But let me just try on the other outfit and then we'll talk. Guys, I'm so conflicted. So this is another top that I got from Shein that I just forgot to put in. <laughs> 
<laughs> in the trial hall. I'm crazy. So it's literally just backless. And then these are the pants that I was thinking of wearing this with. But man, this outfit is giving sunny summer vibes. So I think I'm gonna go with the first outfit and then keep this one for when it's nice and hot. Like it makes sense to wear that one and just be comfy, still cute. I don't know, I'm gonna pack both of them and then we're gonna hear what Butu thinks because it's tough. Guys, it's me driving out and meeting the rest of the homies! Ah! So pretty, so cute, but so scary. <laughs> I fully love it when things happen the way I plan them to so I just got done at the bank I'll show you which bank I'm at just now but it's basically Botswana Savings Bank and ah, guys they use this old shysty looking book um, it's like a savings account basically that my siblings and I have had for years so I was depositing money for my older sister my account scary i'll come and fix it but basically we've been using this book for years i think we opened our account in like 2016 or 17 if i'm not mistaken and they're finally getting rid of the books yo yo so i need to come back next saturday to activate my sister's account and my account i mean they're still active but to i don't know child to just make sure that they make me a card instead of me using the book but here, we're off to the next location and then we're off to Butuza's house. Friends, um, my errands are done, period. Um, my sister had sent me some sh money because she owed me. <laughs> so I got that and I'm by CBD right now. I lower my camera because woof. But I'm waiting for my dad currently. I'm gonna meet him here because I need to see him two minutes and hella say what's up to the boy. And then head on over to Batuza's house. But also let me show you some. Let me show you some. Can you see that? Can you see that it's raining? And can you see that there's a, there's a dark cloud over there? So I keep I get sort of outfit that me I get sort of like it really but luckily I packed both outfits and my jacket from Shein. If you know it, you know it. So I'll be good. But um, I just wanted to talk about something. Like, hey guys, one thing about this past week, it's been kind of heavy. Because this is the week that um, news broke out that AKA passed away. Yesterday was actually his memorial service. And then I think today's his funeral, if I'm not mistaken. So it's been such a sad week on social media, man. Yo, 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 yo. It's been such a sad time because I personally loved AKA so, 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 so much. But then there were also talks of like people saying they don't feel bad for him and, 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 and. And I feel like it's such a, it's such a sensitive topic that I'm not even going to talk too much on it because there's a lot of... Woo, there's a lot around it but I just feel like at the end of the day every single person has their own story and everyone feels entitled to how they feel like they're allowed to feel that way like we're not gonna sit here and say no you can't say this or say that because it's like we just need to be more sensitive on the internet is what I'm trying to say and also it's so triggering I couldn't even watch the memorial service shame like death is such a painful thing that like I've lost so many people that anytime someone passes away, I try to like take myself out of like engaging with all the the memorial posts and all of that because it's actually so sad. And then on top of that, I like I ha like on top of just me being triggered, I had this crazy thought. Like I was actually having this conversation with my cousin and my aunt last night that people tend and this is like totally unrelated to everything that's that's been happening on social media it's like people just always tend to look down on others like i don't even know how to explain it like let's say today i'm doing amazing and then 
tomorrow I'm down and out. But when I was up, niggas are too bad. And then when I'm down and out, I'm the same person who wants to come to those same people that I was, you know, putting down and talking trash to to ask for help. It's like so unfair because as a Christian, when you're the person who was looked down at and spoken to terribly, you have to forgive. You simply have to forgive and you have to rock. It's a thing where people just find it okay to look down on you when they're up, but then when they're down, you're expected to jump. And I, I say this in the context of family. I say this in the context of friends. I say this in the context of, you know, whoever it could be close to you. Like, it's so messed up because as a family member or as a friend or an acquaintance or whatever it is, you should just be a good person at all times. Don't just be nice to me because you need my support because now i'm me as a christian i have forgiven you or as a person i have forgiven you i've moved past everything but i haven't forgotten all that stuff you were saying all the stuff you've done to me but now because you're down you're down bad you're sick you need help you need this i have to now get on the go back and forget about but basically put all the stuff that you put me through behind and help you it's crazy it's crazy like it's so intense guys those feelings those emotions of just basically being neglected being put down have to be put to the side because now you have to be there for your loved one and one thing about me i will forgive you but it'll be so hard to forget but at the same time you need me so i'm gonna be there and it's just like ah <laughs> it's so messed up it's crazy like i've i've had these thoughts for such a long time well this week especially but yeah long story short it's like just be a decent person like be a decent human being at all times just so that you don't put people through the, the emotions of feeling obliged or obligated to help you and be there for you when you're still healing it's messed up but anyways 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 we stay prayed up we stayed um we stay believing we stay leaving everything to god guys one thing about sleeking my hair yo but i'll show you guys when i'm done doing my makeup so i'll see you guys when my face is beat honestly because <laughs> all this talking is a lot <laughs> okay lovely lovers and friends Got my makeup done. <laughs> I'm at Butu's house. She's currently doing her makeup. Show me say hi. Hi. <laughs> She'll say hi to you guys properly. We're waiting for Nancy and Mata to come pick us up. I should do my makeup really quickly because talking to my dad took forever. But it's the final look. I need to put the camera down some way so you can see. Good. So the top is from Shein. This is what the one that I told you guys I didn't show you in the haul. Plus these pants are from Shein as well. I didn't show this exact outfit. And then I showed you guys these rings. You know this. So yeah. We have Matatanya and transport. But you know what? Jesus is Lord. So we'll figure it out. My my children's rich <laughs> Guys, we love it here. Oh guys, this is my friend Butu, for those who don't know. They know her from Tavila's channel. They're always yeah. bullying Tavila. She gets this channel. Yeah, this is my sister. Her. So we just got to Mokolodi. 
so yeah we just got seated here as we wait for a table because apparently there's eight of us i thought yeah. there are only two yeah, but nancy's friends are coming as well so purper good 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 so guys we just got seated um normally apparently you're supposed to make a booking but we were lucky enough to find a table i love it here can you do you get it like do you get the scenery do you get the aura do you get the <laughs> love it so much also both took guys i need to show it to you before i do anything but took the baddest photo of my <gasps> Guys, look at go on to my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, what are you do doing? better. Um, on this little alcohol break, so I got a mocktail. It's not really an alcohol break. I want to reduce my alcohol intake. I hope you guys can hear me, by the way. So I got this mug at the back. So I'm obsessed. Hopefully it tastes good. It tastes the beer. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Diggy. yum yum. A purr purr. It's so good. Hi guys. Hi guys. Yeah, you said what Funny story. So my friend just reminded me of this, right? There's a time both to find a snake in the yard, guys. Did I not cry my eyeballs out? So I'm trying to tell them that, like, I didn't have to see that snake for me to die. I called the soldier. I called my dad. I told that nigga to pull up from wherever he is immediately now. And Buto was like, guys, this is me. Guys, I've never been so sick. That's one thing. If you want to see me perish, put a snake in front of you. No, but I cried. Debile is my op. She looked up. She's like, I also looked at him. She said, Balipi, we're literally eating. We're literally eating. I don't know if I'm going to go. Polaroid of me and it's still 
I need to buy this. We need to. I'm a problem because look at the two pictures I took of my now. <laughs> and someone just took this one just now. And it's already coming out. I have to go home. I don't know. Like, were you pressing? I, yeah, I was pressing like y'all niggas were pressing. No, no, no. Guys, my camera's dying. But we're about to take a group. Let me show you. I'll show you when we're done. All of them. Okay. <laughs> so I needed to update you guys because my camera's dying. But I'm about to show you guys after we take the Polaroid. dolls today is the next day it's a sunday um yesterday was galentine's day um i really hope you guys enjoy this little vlog i decided that i'm going to make it a vlog on its own because i was going to add it to a weekly vlog that you a weekend vlog sorry that you guys probably have already seen by now um but it just made sense to just like make it a, like a standalone vlog i'm just gonna continue filming as much as i can and give you guys as much as i'm doing in terms of content right now I've stopped putting pressure on myself so you guys are literally getting the fun side of Baba but I just wanted to close this vlog off because yesterday it started raining my phone died my camera died I couldn't close the vlog off properly so it started raining I think that's the last clip you saw of us excuse me at Mokolodi and then yeah I just asked my friends to drop me off by my car so that I can come home before the rain got crazy again because driving in the rain is not fun but i just wanted to come and close off this video by saying i don't know if you remember the rant that i had um in the car while i was waiting to see my dad yesterday about basically people doing you wrong and then when they're down and out you have to be there for them i just want to say that everything that you would have experienced that made you feel a certain way about the person or whatever the situation may be like what i'm trying to say is every single thing that led up to you holding a grudge or being upset or being down and out happened the way it was supposed to happen just so you can get to a certain place so context i've been watching a sermon from pastor sarah j jacobs sarah jakes jakes sarah jakes and she was essentially just saying talking about how everything must go right so god is going to put you in so many different situations to get to a point where you're broken down you're down and out and you feel like you just don't want anything you don't want to engage with anything but in those moments those are the times where you're supposed to cry to god and tell him what dog i'm down and when you're down god re rejoices and i say that to say because in your darkest and most deepest and most broken and most painfulest points god takes that as an opportunity to dig you down into your foundation because a deeper foundation means that God can continue building on top of you to take you to greater heights. So in as much as a situation or a family member or a person or something may be so painful, may make you feel like you're down and out, because I want you to continue to remember that you're going through that situation in order to get to a place where God has prepared so many things for you the person that you are right now you're shedding first of all when you're in that situation where you're broken and you're in like pain you're shedding away all the hatred you have to forgive when you're forgiven you're taking away grudges and once you're grudge free and once you're you've shed it off people who are, who are taking you back and once you surround yourself with people who are within the same vision as you god is going to start bringing opportunities to you 
that you never thought <laughs> could ever like happen like you need to shed off the person who you were in order to become the person god wants you to walk and once you start walking you're going to walk into all the blessings that he has prepared for you so that's a little something that i learned this past weekend <laughs> um yeah i was actually down and out when i got home yesterday so I locked myself in the room and I was literally just sleeping and I actually editing um, I was digging all the pain that's another thing like we tend to find distractions but God doesn't want you to find distractions he wants all of those things to come and bubble up to the surface so that he can just you know how tell her something like foam so that he can blow the foam away all of those things that bubbled up to the top so continue believing guys continue having faith like i always say if you're not a christian whatever god you believe in whatever universe chakra you speak into just continue to remember that um internalizing problems does not help uh it is best to feel what you're feeling go through all the motions and at the end of the day you'll reach greater, greater heights i'm also so sorry that i speak so much guys <laughs> in my vlog these days i think i'm in my speaking era and connecting with you era and there's so many things that i'm learning so i hope you guys enjoyed that i soaked these oats um a day ago so i just added some honey just to make them nice and yeah so i'm gonna have that and then i'm gonna meet up with my good friend lisa but i want to end the vlog off here i hope you guys learned and are learning something from me because <laughs> sometimes i feel like i'm talking so much mess but it's important for me to get it off my chest while it's still fresh so i love you guys so much continue to pour into your cups don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'm radiating great energy to you if you're feeling down and out know that it is just but a season and not a lifetime i love you guys so much as you know i always say i'm here for a good time and a long time don't forget to like comment share subscribe bay, and i'll see you guys in my next video my loves Mwah. love you Oh, 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 oh,